So we will s- Today Saints, Kenzie Retro here, back once again. It's Saturday and that means only one thing, it's Tom and Jerry Sims. We are on episode number 33, The Truce Hurts. So, yes, I've got a different pair of Sin glasses on because I can't seem to find a pair that I normally have. Oh, hey ho. Let's not worry about that too much. And let's get right into this. Same rules apply as always. Here we go. When are they going to give us the theme song we know? Ah, how adorable. All three of them are angels. Pfft. When do we ever see that throughout this episode? How much damage have they caused inside that house, just with the three of them? Mm hmm I spy damage on the frying pan. Spike, all you have to do is either aim a little bit lower or swing it from the back and then go kaboom like so! Hey, Actually Spike, now that you mention it, let's see how many times you failed to hit Tom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven misses, seven sins. Um, you're only just now realizing what's going on? I can testify to that. Are you sure they can't? For about... For about four or five minutes in this episode. How did he manage to come up with all that design? Just like that. Tom, Jerry, and yours truly. Let's shake on it, pal. Wait a second. We will tinker. The one that does is a stinker. Butch is the name of the black cat. Your name is supposed to be Spike. Can they not make their mind up as to what his name's gonna be? Choose a name and stick to it! They didn't even have the common courtesy to give Jerry some of the blankets before they went to sleep. Oh, now he does. <laughs> Didn't think to do that before you, uh, closed it over? That would have woken everybody up. Mm, yeah, that would hurt him. Nope! Oh my word, and then they're gonna end up going round in circles. That is guaranteed infection, ladies and gentlemen. How does he know how much to measure with his eyes closed? You greedy dog! For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow! That no one can deny. I'll see myself out, folks. Why would you need a toothpick when all you had was a glass of milk? Or half a glass in Tom and Jerry's case. Oh my word, when did Jerry's teeth become so big? And how long did 
did he have that for anyway? Also, that would be guaranteed more infection as well. Discount over the rainbow. Why would you smell trash? Which reminds me, why would he be wanting to eat trash? Ah, a mouse, you'll do. How can Tom see where this is going? Don't just stand there, you moron! Do something before that happens! Which reminds me, yeah, that's a trip to the vet. Wait, wait, what? What's going on here? Did I really just see this? I'm losing my mind! Self-inflicted pain. Also, another trip to the vet. You're really enjoying that bone, good sir, aren't you? How does his head go all exorcist on us? Fair enough, he doesn't do the statistics, but you know what I mean. Oh well, screw the bone, this'll do. Ow! Goodness me, you'd think he was a roast hog at this point. How can... Do I call him Spike or do I call him Butch? I'm gonna call him Spike because that's what he should be called! Oh, I'm dinner ready. How does Spike see this? In the same way Tom saw Jerry earlier. You're seriously gonna try and eat him whole?! Unrealistic sound design. Mm, oh my lord, that was so painful. How did this happen to me? 16 teeth. Are you sure dogs don't have more teeth than that? Speak to me. He can't speak to you because he's got an apple stuck in his mouth. Yeah, that would be guaranteed choking. Ouch! Discount Wizard of Oz. Hold it. I'll help us across. How? At this point, that is a censored blackface joke, so I'll take a sin off. Ooh, a nice juicy steak! And this is where the truce falls apart. Oh, now you're just being ridiculous. How are you gonna cut into the bone, Jerry? And Tom gets the bone. Shouldn't Spike be getting the bone? Since he is a dog after all. Now that's definitely a trip to the vet. Yeah, that wouldn't be working. Nice job, he just ate Jerry! Ah, the unrealistic physics. How you never disappoint. No! The steak! Not the steak! Also, property damage. This is all your fault! You ruined the steak! And they both look at Jerry. Well, in the grand scheme of things, he is technically the one to blame since he's the one that caused all this to begin with. Ah, screw this treaty! Let's go back to the way things should be! And the recycled animation makes its glorious return. Another seven misses, another seven sins. And there we go. One episode down. Hmm. You'll have noticed these kept slipping off. 
So I'm gonna until I until I get the uh, sin glasses that I had in previous episodes. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to do them without them now. But hey, I've just realised something. I just went through this entire episode without any bloopers for the first time. Clean run for the first time ever! Woohoo! I finally did one without any bloopers! Yes! So, no blooper reel this week, unfortunately. Hmm, I love it when I do the blooper reel. <laughs> Oh, stop being such a baby, Kenzie. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Throwback Thursday on the left, Tom and Jerry playlist on the right. And I'll see you for the next episode very shortly. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.